Parental discretion is advised. This show is brought to you by IndieWrestling.us. Check out IWC, RWA, and more. And listeners like you, support this show at Patreon.com slash Wrestling Mayhem Show. Just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait. It is the wrestling. No, it's the Monday Mayhem. Hello. It's the Monday Mayhem show. I'm Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on the Twitter here in the Sorgatron Media Compound in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. And uh, we have with us, as usual, the maddest of mics. The, uh, yeah, of, of, the ma- of the mics I've met, he's definitely the maddest. Of the mad mics I've met, he's the maddest. Because there are more than one mad mics, unfortunately. No, there aren't. Yeah. <laughs> Not when you're we're talking in this show, but he is yeah. the only mayhemer uh, with a future endeavor letter from the WWE for legit reasons. Uh, Mad Mike. Hey, if you are any kind of ist, you can fuck off. <laughs> if you're any kind of ist, any kind of ist, even cellists. Most kinds of it. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Because I don't want those <laughs> Mayhem Show cello cello out of the cello to be dropping their uh, hate mail to good times at wrestling mayhem show. Yeah, okay. okay. All right. All right. If, <laughs> Listen, y- man. You know what you know what kind of iss I'm talking about. If you're one of those bad iss, you can fuck off. <laughs> like, I, I don't have a grudge against violinists. Oh, a, yeah. I don't have a grudge against harpsichordists. I don't have a grunge against podcasts or against uh, polyamorists. Nope, not at all. Yeah. I don't kink shame either. No, but anyway, no, Sorg, no. Sorg, I have. I'm starting off with a fact. Okay. A hot, factoid. Hot, 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 hot factoid. All right, Sorg, do you know what is significant about the date June fifth, two thousand eighteen? Am I, am I kayfabing this, or is this like what we talked nope. about before? Sword, like... do you know what is significant? What was the date again? June 5th, 2018. Sorg, that's over two years ago. June 5th, 2018 would be my wedding anniversary of that year. <laughs> ha! And the best present WWE could get you was Charlotte tapping out to the disarmer. That might have that been. Is... Them also might have been. My ten year anniversary? No, no, that's not right. No, that can't. No, no. Nope, get no, this no. right. That's get this right, Sorg. Use your math. Teenth ish. Use your math. <laughs> Use your math. Sorg, Sorg, Sorg. Four, don't, four, don't. Four, All right, five. moving on. That's moving good, on. Man, while good. you count, producer Missy has given up on our podcast. Don't worry about it. She doesn't listen that's, to any of this stuff. I know. I still worry. I'm allowed. Uh huh. <laughs> so wheel says. Wheel says. Wheelchairist. Oh no, I, I fuck off. <laughs> fuck off, wheelchairist. <laughs> only that specific wheelchairist. And we're not talking. I'm gonna push and, him in the street. And we're not we're not disability shaming like the trap no, of course the not. trapped account in Gregory Iron. Absolutely not. This thing. is just directed at wheels. And he knows why. <laughs> <laughs> He's just wheelsist. Uh, he, yeah, I'm wheelsist. Exactly. <laughs> oh, because you don't come on the show, wheels. Come on. Yeah. Come on the fucking show. Come on the fucking show. Come on the fucking show. Open arms. You're you in the goddamn chat room. Always invited. Always yes. invited. I have Standing wheels. invite or, in your case, sitting invite. Jeez. I don't know which I can make right that up. joke because Wheels and I are friends and I know he's laughing at it. Yes. Yes. <laughs> I know he's laughing at it because I would make that joke to him in person too and he would laugh at it. Yes. Uh, this is... But yes. So... It was a SmackDown in Corpus Crispy, Texas, home of our <laughs> very own Eamon. Uh, original home of our only uh, original yeah, home. Eamon. Yes, correct. Yes, yes. Kern, but, uh, uh, it was, Kern. It was a singles Kern? match. It was a singles match. Becky versus Charlotte, and Becky made her tap with the disarmor. <laughs> and Wheel says, "Love you too, Mike." There you go. Yes. Pulls it together. Exactly. All right. It's, it's all, all right. love here. Good. It's Good. all love. We're we're blocking out the hate. Yes. We'll save that for tomorrow. When oh boy, oh, we boy. will spit. I, I will say, fire. other than our low key uh, barbs about things going on right now, uh, we are going to have Honey Badger on uh, tomorrow. <laughs> and if you follow Honey Badger on social media, <laughs> man. <laughs> Um, the, the phrase honey badger, don't give a fuck comes to mind. 
<laughs> it's on task. That's, it's definitely it's, on it's task. Right, she's right there. It's the gimmick. I don't know if just the, li- just the the rampant exposure of of misdeeds in the Pittsburgh, greater Pittsburgh area, crossing the line into West Virginia, of course, if you've not been in Crossing the their line across the pond, Sorg. Uh, well, uh, Cross- what, what, she's been mostly concentrating on the local issues, I think. Yeah, but, but like, but, it's crossing the line everywhere. Everything. I mean, there's been a focus here, so, yeah. Yeah, there, there, yeah absolutely. Uh, but, like, it's at, at this point, we'll almost be over, we'll almost be able to have and Istmania for next year, where mm-hmm. everyone mm-hmm. that just blackballed from wrestling yeah. will book yeah. them to beat the shit out of each hey, other. It'll hey, be great. all this weird shit that went down, there was a silver lining. I got to film wrestling in a setting I never thought I'd film wrestling in. And mm-hmm. I will talk. you'll see that over the next few days of uh, uh, Fight Underground. But, man, uh, the interview is already up over there with uh, the Rev and AJ Alexander, uh, the great Jim LaMotta doing that. Um watch that and tell me and and tell me where you think that was filmed because i got some funny answers when i showed you just photos of the setup so i'm kind of curious about that um but anyways yeah there's a lot of people on the list there's, <laughs> yeah well, all right well, so, yes so but anyways, let's roll back to monday night raw well, yeah, let's, 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 let's roll back let's because roll back. something I, very I, positive I, Monday Night spoiler, Raw. How the fuck alert, did that happen? Raw was, kind of, Raw was kind of okay. There was a lot of wrestling. Again, we're doing stuff. We're, we're, we're doing some project stuff here. Have some clients in and out through the night. We have Raw on because that's what we do here at Sorgatron Media Studios. Um, and there's a lot of like, man, maybe I should be sitting down and watching this. Did Ray Rowe just catch a man? Powerbomb style? Like nothing? Oh, it was a little Well, sorry, right, to be it, fair, anyone who's seen some, some, some stuff, is not surprised by this. At no, all. I'm not, but I haven't seen this in WWE. So That's I, I'm just like, I'm like, wow, this this is like that, Super Indie 14 now, action here. I, I will give Raw one negative. One negative, okay? Um. Oh, no, wait, never mind. I can't even do that. What? I was about to say, I was about to say there were no title changes, but there definitely were. It was the title change that counted the least... Because hey. we now have a ninja twenty four seven champion. Hey, hey, twenty four seven ninja style. Um, good for Tazawa. Good yes. in the mix. Yes, good for Tazawa. Um, terrible with the gimmick he's working with, but uh, good for Tazawa. I, what a but sort. All right, I'm just I'm just bitter. I'm bitter because my girls didn't win. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. And it's Billy Kay's birthday, and that would have been lovely. Oh well, I mean, well, it you gotta be happen. joking me. <laughs> <laughs> oh man uh, uh i couldn't help it thank I you help for it. that thank you we we all need that right now um hey, sorry, sorry. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. we went to journalism for that we did go to journalism for that well maybe you didn't maybe i didn't uh was hey, it i went to i i did a journalism you did a journalism i did um high i was school. the editor-in-chief of my college newspaper sir i was on Put some spec on the quadrangle's name i i i, I had some some high school yearbook action for a minute so yeah that counts know, that counts i laughed sure. i laughed i didn't i didn't stick it through the entire yearbook so <laughs> i don't even know what i did that year i, I it's senior year was just a wash <laughs> sure, i think it was i think it was just fago is that that's all you did that year right mm, that would be the beginnings of that actually yeah yeah yeah, yeah that would be the, that's when uh that's when i came around to the uh the juggalo style mm-hmm which, by the way, God bless you, Juggalos. I see you. <laughs> I see you on social media. Everybody come see the greatest show. Gather up all Juggalos and go. Whoa. Oh, that's it's right. It's fun I... to be done with the clowns. Yeah, so I, that's yeah. the only song I know. I know. And I'm like, wow, you really know that. Only... I'm like, that's because that's the only one that like wrestling Sorg, fans that's would know. that's the only one I know. It's fucking catchy, because too. I, every time I try to listen to another one, it's like magnets in my ears, and I don't even know how it fucking works. Anyway. <laughs> Oh, I'm just over here dropping switches in my... Ah, oh, fuck, I fucked up the lyric. <laughs> fuck it up. <laughs> but yeah, so um, it's been over Excuse two me. Let me give it a second Charlie. shot. Hidden switches on my drop top low ride tractor. Thank you. Moving on, chicken hunting. Okay. I had. I don't know. I just had to get out. No, no, it's okay. That's like the Cartman from South, from South Park. What? Where you have to finish the line of the song. Oh, yeah. I get it. Yeah, because yeah. no, it would bother me the ent- like the rest of the night. Yeah, I absolutely get it. It's all good. <laughs> all right. Yeah. So, 
Sword Raw. Raw. <laughs> Wrestle Raw. Wrestling. By the way, I realized I realized I was watching a uh, watch along that WWE did when they were showing Evolution mm-hmm. on FS1. I put it on the background of my work day just to pass the time. And <laughs> wait a minute, wait a minute. You're watching a watch along while you're watching along the watch. What I do thing. at work, yeah. It, it just, I, yeah. you just sort. Like, how did mm-hmm. you? You are super. Fourth wall break inside a fourth wall break. It, that's like sixteen walls. Yeah, that is. That's like a square root wall break. I don't mm-hmm. even yeah. understand. I, but, but wow. sort. My point is. Wow, my head. So. So this watch along mm-hmm. was all women's wrestlers basically. Okay. And and Noelle Foley showed up for a hot minute. Okay. She she took a bump somewhere yeah, along. Yeah, no, it's, it's so fine. Well, she, well, unfortunately she's dealing with concussions. Oh, did so she? she probably, yeah. For, she said from a roller coaster. I don't know if I necessarily believe that. But anyway, yeah. I I don't know if I believe that per se. But anyway, so they were all talking about the show and then all of a sudden, everyone got sidetracked into talking about um, Master Chef, and I'm like, "Oh, celebrities! They're just like us when they podcast." Because then I forget. I want to say it was Nia Jax of all people just went so wrestling. <laughs> I'm like, "We do that too." It's everything, man. It's, it's like it's I, everything. It, I, 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 it, I, I noticed it, like. I mean, Ronnie, obviously, like, I know he does it here on the show, but that's literally, like, when it's like, well, we survived another wrestling show, and it's wrestling, you know, like, the way he does it and stuff. Like, that's, in he's, yeah, no, this is, this is a thing. This is an on, this, yeah. everybody does it. Yeah, yeah. Especially when it's like, hey, it's over there. So, um, so... I uh let's see broadcasting school uh does not count. Does that, oh does that count? Oh uh, yeah, no absolutely. Oh yeah, actually yeah, for sure, right? And that counts way more in the shit we've done. Mm, but, uh, <laughs> I do, I mean I was technically multimedia web designer. I might have had a journalism okay. course. I okay, it shows so, you how so you well did, I did at it if I can't remember. So you did a journalism? I, I did a well I mean the, the, the yearbook uh, whatever. Uh, yeah, we we all did a we uh, sorry, let's let's uh, be real. We all record on Impact for years. Yeah, That's journalism. Yeah, yeah. At its finest. By the way, Impact Wrestling, brava for doing the things you've done. Brava for for the for the recent deacquisitions of certain people. There you go. Finally, finally. Uh, it's, yeah. It's um. Uh, so I didn't want to get into this on this show. It's sad it takes something of this magnitude for corrective actions to happen. Correct. <laughs> which, which I mean, I can say that for basically the last three weeks of. Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, to be fair, things. we can say this since March. Uh, d- <laughs> Different yeah. context. But well, I think we're going to have to come back around to the thing since March. But um, unfortunately, mm-hmm. so um, I have a, hope, I hope like, you guys weren't a fan of Mojo Raleigh. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what does that mean? He has coronavirus. But that doesn't mean I mean, he's. Well, I mean, so how is he busy not doing well? I mean, are I you, don't know. Are you just implying I, that he's I, done? I would imagine that he ain't going to be on TV in a while. Well, at least two weeks. Uh, Sorg, you have to get over it first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, that 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 takes months. Yeah, that takes months I, depending I, on what your situation. Well, is. I was sharing something today, and it was not. Right. Well, it's still wrestling related, I suppose. Um, and like, there's seriously like a guy that I know that got it in March. And I think, I think some of his family also got it in, in a house while he has some kids and, um, and he's like a part of a support group for it. Um, mm-hmm. so, I mean, that should kind of tell you, you know, what's up there. Um, in the meantime, I'm really enjoying the elbow room since I started going back to restaurants. <laughs> It's gonna be um, even better at movie theaters. I'm not going to the movie theater. No, I'm not going to no, a movie theater. No, no, no. You know, anytime somebody's coughed on the back of my head, I don't. I don't care who's beside me. I <laughs> you can't do the it, other unless one. movie theaters do one group per row. I had somebody, and you, somebody and you can't sit in the like. In, you can't make a bingo. Uh, I was watching. <laughs> I was watching. I think the most recent Fat Man, Man on Batman, and they talked about like the family went out and took up an entire row because they would even split them up. Mm-hmm. So at, at one of those like kind of pre pre seat yeah. select things, um, um, 
Also, random, since we're going down the rat holes, my wife and I watched two things last night after we got home from doing work from the filming the night before uh, okay. or day before. We ended up watching, first of all, P- the uh, Go Big or Go Home documentary. I-, I think it's worth watching for you guys, especially if you're kind of – there's a lot of familiar faces, including Lee Moriarty's in it. It's mostly about the women. Um, Scarlett, who we've had on the show – uh, is a part of it, a uh, girl Annabelle that um, she was she was working and we 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 filmed some work with her and and then she has some, I think some concussions actually dropped her out of the business. Uh, another another girl Dory that's no longer with the business but uh, has an interesting story. Um, Maria Manic and uh, Samantha Starr, another friend of the show, uh, also the niece I believe of Jake Roberts. Um, so but uh, yeah, worth uh, worth kind of a look into things. And it was from a couple of years ago, I think, like right when Fight Society was starting. Um, so it was like beginning of 2018 ish. So wor- worth a, worth a check out. It's it's definitely got some cool stuff in it. But b- the big surprise was I'm like I'll put on whatever just because I saw it on my Amazon. The Silent but Deadly with Kevin Smith. Oh I, and yeah. And I didn't think like I it's like oh you know I put on Comedy Central. You know this is where Missy just say okay I'm done I'm going to bed. And she was just laughing her ass off the entire time. It is the special he filmed the night that he had a heart attack. Oh, yeah. I, I've seen it. I, I, I never had a chance. I never it's, caught wind of it, I guess. It's weird. Yeah, it is. It's, yeah, it it, is. It's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a weird, weird show because he's sweating a lot. Yeah, yeah. But he's I mean, sweating an awful lot. Yeah, yeah. And it kind of makes sense, right? So, but I mean, oh, he's yeah. on the performance side, so he probably didn't notice anything until he came down from it, and then boom, you know, that's how it happens. So, you know, yep, not worried at all at my age. <laughs> um, Sorg, I, I, I also watched something this weekend. Hmm. Well, uh, first, I, I rewatched Sonic the Hedgehog. Oh, yes, with the with the fiance, it was great. Yeah, I loved it. It's a fun movie. It's not yeah, like it's, amazing. it's a delightful little romp. Yes, it is. It's just like this is a perfectly adequate and fun movie that I'll watch it, if it's just it's, on. It's honestly the best video game movie I've seen since Mortal Kombat. Big fan of the Tomb Raider movie. That last one. I have not. I have not seen. Okay, those. have you? And I also played, don't know the game. So what I was, so so roll back. If you just go watch from trailers from like this latest series of games, especially the one that just the the Tomb Raider one where it was like the younger Tomb Raider. Yeah, uh, where, where it doesn't have polygonal boobs. I yeah, got it. Uh, yeah, right. Um, <laughs> so you, if you go with that, just watch some cinematic trailers, then go watch the movie and be like, yeah, that feels right. Mm-hmm. It, no, it, I mean, from the trailers, it, it looked like they got it's female Indiana Jones. Like, oh, absolutely. Oh, absolutely. I get it. And it, 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 I it, get it. It carries the storyline a lot. It's a less culty. Um, they, they, oh, good. They kind of trimmed down like what was happening on the island that I can tell because I mean you're filling the 20 hour game, right? So Sorg, I'll be back in one second. DJ Roomba unplugged the fan and I am dying because I don't have AC up here. <laughs> Hold on a second. DJ Ro- D- we we interrupt this message to remind you that our friends at Fight Underground and Prospect Pro Wrestling have very new content going on uh, right now on the Facebook. Uh, new matches and, uh, of course, interviews, including this week, the sit-down with uh, hosted by Jim LaMotta over there on that. And, of course, uh, and, and then with the matches Tuesdays and then the um, I think it is the aftermath is going to be Wednesday night, which is the post-match fallout com- a press conference with the Fight Council present. Also on Prospect Pro Wrestling, you have the you have the training sessions with some incredible matches, including the highly acclaimed Zeke Mercer versus Stevie LaBelle from last week, as well as the first round of the quarantine tournament um, that involves the Whiskey Dicks versus the Dark Web. That is the Whiskey Dicks of Chess Flexor and Jamie Jameson against the Dark Web of Zeke Mercer and um, and uh, Miles Monroe. I Those forgot are- I forgot his <laughs> name because his, he's mysterious. Uh, but as you can tell, uh, it was um, maybe by accident or maybe psychologically by me, Zeke Week over on Prospect Pro Wrestling. So please go check that out. Back to you, Mike. Yeah. Hi. Sorry. Um, we, we don't have uh-oh, air conditioning uh-oh. up here. Apparently, apparently, cool. apparently my computer froze. Oh, boy. Apparently so I'm the- offline. Our, one of our producers has told me that we're offline. I'm still recording. 
So that's fun. So, Mike, okay. we're going to do a secret show right now is what's going to happen because we're recording on everything, everything right now. So we're just going to keep talking, and you can tell me whatever you want to for the fans to catch later only afterwards. Um, so, Mike, tell me your deepest, darkest secrets um, for um, who you stand in the Arrowverse. I also Ooh. can't. I also can't switch to you because the computer that controls that is also dead. So I'm just going to look into the camera and react. Oh man, who I stand in the arrow? Who do you stand in the arrowverse? Yeah, who do I stand or who do I ship? I want to say who do you stand? Okay, well and that you can that, also okay. say who do you? Sh- 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 that's a whole other conversation. Okay. Um, All right. I only. But can I, you tell? I just figured out what stand means. Yes. <laughs> and, um, and can I also tell you, it's kind of a problematic term. It feels like it too. It because f- have you listened to that song? I think that's the point, it's isn't it? It's not great. No, it's not great. But I think that's the, isn't that the point? Isn't I don't the point think that so. I am obsessive I, I, with that. I think people like, who started saying that said it ironically. Yes. But the people who don't know that song now take it as a positive mm. and i'm like i'm like eminem and dino d- didn't lie to me like stan stan's a bad thing like like uh, that that's that's one devon sawa rule that did not make the girls in my seventh grade class that very you know feel things you know what i don't know exactly what you just said but i can tell you that dido has never lied to me because i've only listened to one of her songs sorg in the video for stan Devin Sawa plays Stan. Who is Devin Sawa aside from being the Stan guy? Oh. Or is that it? Is that his? Have you seen Little Giants? Oh, I see. He's Junior Floyd. I have. He's Pastor the Friendly Fucking Ghost Sword. Once again, I discover this uh, idea that I lived a very different life than other people on this show. You know, um, for the people that are in the chat room that can't hear us, yes, I'm just go. I'm just going to type random things, mm-hmm. to see what they say. Sorg, oh no, Here damn it! Ah, it, 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 it go it, away. It, it timed me out. It timed you out. Okay, you I'm know. still going to write. Okay, Sorg go ahead. Right. Doesn't know who Devin Sawa is. Go good. Put that in there. I can't even spell that. I can't even spell that. All right, so. Oh no, uh, Arrowverse. Uh, so, who do I stand? So Constantine. And the Constantine all day with the Constantine, Constantine all day, really. All day, especially after finishing Legends. My oh, God. Oh boy, I am about five into it. Yeah. My I mean, God. I mean, the Lord John Constantine. The Lord. <laughs> he's so good. He's so. He's the only man that mm-hmm. can cross over. From Fox to CW, no, 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 NBC for more th- for more than two minutes. He was NBC. Oh, he was on, it, was, it was NBC. Yeah, you were thinking Lucifer. Okay, that's what I'm thinking. Okay, because Lucifer was on for like a half a second in uh mm-hmm. in oh. Crisis. But oh, I lost your video. Oh no. So do we just need we need to restart this whole thing? Hmm. This is fascinating. Why is my program video not working? I don't I don't know what's happening right now. This is this is such a this is such an odd issue right now. Hmm. Hmm. FTB fade to black. That's why. And uh that Tina responded it. blasphemy. 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 So you don't know who Devin well, Sawa is. We are officially back on on the stream and oh. boy did you guys miss out as we <laughs> we and boy, left are your arms some tired. Deep, deepest darkest secrets. Like, who does Mad Mike stand in the Arrowverse? Uh, that's h- what we did while we rebooted this computer that apparently froze for some reason. We're not entirely sure why. It's the first time that's done it, like, in a year. So, here we are. Um, I'm going the to shot, blame... The shot D- is still I'm, on you. Okay. Sorry, right. I'm going to blame DJ Roomba. DJ Roomba. DJ, DJ Roomba pulled out my fan and your internet. That, that is DJ. <laughs> DJ Roomba has become self-aware. Mm-hmm. And here we are. And here we Yo, are. Yo, DJ, spin that shit. Yo, DJ, spin that shit. 
Holy shit. Well, go Ninja, go Ninja, they're go. just added about go half Ninja, an hour work to my go. stuff tonight. Anyways, are we are we on the same feed? Is that what happened? I don't know. I don't know what's Will, happening. We'll Will's find out. Back here. I'll, I'll clean it up later. Uh, anyways, so that's what happens. And that shows you how quick we can get back online after total failure. So that's why they... Right. That's how why does Sorg not know Casper? Let's dig into this. Does not know what? Sorg Casper? He played Casper, Sorg. Devin Sawa. Best recognized. With uh, the now and then. Was, Come on. Was it a young Katie Who Holmes rolled in that? deep on Devin Sawa in this house? Wow. Wow. <laughs> wow. 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 Also, I'm pretty sure he was in a movie with JTT called like Wild Country or Wild America. Now I'm going to look that up. But he was also the Final Destination guy. I mean, I watched Nothing. it, but I watched it. I mean, I just know. No, I mean, if you want to tell me the, the hackers guy, like now I can go some deep cuts. Oh, no, that's Ryan Phillippe, Sorg. You don't confuse your Devin Sawas and your Ryan Phillippe's. Your Ryan Phillippe, he's in Cruel Intentions. Mm-hmm. Come on. Mm-hmm. And I was right. Wild America, Devin Sawa, Jonathan Taylor Thomas. Boom. We roll deep on Devin Sawa in this house. He was all Sorg, have you seen Idle Hands? Yes. He's the guy in Idle Hands. The one that loses the hand. Listen. Everybody looked the same on VHS resolution. (sighs) Sorg. I I will find something that you know him from. Christina Ritchie. That was the one I was looking for. Thank you. Everyone loves Christina Ritchie, Sorg. What was in Casper? Yes. She was also in Now and Then with him. Hmm. Uh, uh, what is this show about again? Wrestling. Okay, back around the wrestling. <laughs> Oscar. <laughs> All right, hold Oscar. on. Before, let's when we talk about Oscar. So that segment with um, Bailey and Sasha, mm-hmm. where Sasha was like, she wants to be Sasha Dose Straps. Yeah. I was willing, trying to will Sasha into saying that she was challenging Io Shirai. Yo, we gotta roll back. Yo, we gotta roll back. We gotta roll Why? back. Why? Did you say Ryan Phillippe was in Hackers? No. Wait. Well, wait. I think so. Hackers was Johnny Lee Miller. Oh, Ryan okay. Phillippe so anti- starred in Antrice. Both movies that are on my watch list. Yes. I I well I don't know I haven't seen either of them. You motherfucker. I don't roll as deep on Ryan Phillippe. Yeah, I, I roll deep the- on. And Devin the, Sawa. Apparently, listen, you know, Ryan Phillippe was also on Raw. You know, what the fuck? Because he was, was in McGruber. Oh, okay. So he was there as part right. when when the cast of McGruber hosted. Um, I had a pretty strong... <laughs> so, former guest host of Raw, Ryan Phillippe. I had a pretty strong Nev Campbell phase mm-hmm. in the 90s, I gotta say. We between didn't. the craft and Scream, it was like... I mm-hmm. mean, you know... Yeah, that's just where I was. Okay, I mean that ha- that has nothing to do with with what we're on about. Oh, they, um, I mean, well, I mean, it feels similar. I mean, we're just it's um, similar. Yeah, no, I Wheel mean, said all, she had a he had a those, it, well, it worked in my head because Wheel said they had a mega crush. All haired white boys, you know, yeah, from the nineties. They they look they look similar. Uh, I'm not. Uh, I'm uh, not uh, for that. Um, it's it's like saying a white bearded dude I'm raw in the year 2020. You know, it's. Yeah. Mm, okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. That's a, that's a type. Um, yeah. <laughs> and and uh, um, Badger is in the chat room call, calling Nev Campbell one of the goth queen pillars, and that is absolutely true. Oh, no, I think that was in response to the Christina Ricci. Oh, Christina Ricci. Okay, well, I, no, they're both. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, I say mm-hmm, both. Mm-hmm. I true. say both. Nev Campbell was, was mm-hmm. Sidney fucking Prescott. Let's, you know, let's not get it twisted. Okay. I mean, and small shout out for Practical Magic. Sorg. Hmm. Get the fuck out of here with your practical magic. Right? <laughs> no, no one no one's thinking Sandy B and Nicole Kidman are witches. Maybe Nicole Kidman. She did date a warlock. So Wait, really? <laughs> Tom Cruise. Okay. All right. Scientology. Gotcha. That's gotcha. what they call themselves, right? Yeah, something like that. No one knows what's going on anymore. Sorg, the craft is great. One time we watched craft. You're talking about the craft in the in the chat. The craft 
I just watched it recently uh-huh. again. Yeah. Hold it's up. fantastic. I, and God bless mid nineties for a bulk. We, uh, God bless her. yeah, we, we once watched, we once <laughs> oh, watched that, the that craft. Just, not happy that I threw some shade at practical magic. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> that's right you better roll that back uh we, I, I, we, hold on, hold on. Right. I, I, gotta, apologize. I gotta that's get fine. this out i gotta get this out we once yeah. watched the craft on a mm-hmm. church mission trip to new york <laughs> there was exactly one person that had a problem with it and it wasn't a chaperone fabulous it was i don't know what we were in a small town somewhere in new york i didn't even know what the hell we were doing up there it was it was i think it was more our mission trip got canceled so it was like a church vacation or something. Probably by me. Uh, no, I don't think we were that far. Um, oh, okay. I, I keep every. There was a period when I'd visit uh, my wife's hometown up there, um, and and I always felt like I feel like this is the town I was in, but I have no idea because all the towns in Appalachian, New York, look the same. There's probably a ski resort nearby, <laughs> and a street Beautiful with a bunch of Mount Airy Lodge. That's probably where it was. <laughs> Mount Airy? Yeah. That might be. I got lost. All though. you have to bring is your love of everything, Sorg. That might be where I was. The, uh, That's the jingle. Mm. <laughs> my fiance sings it all the time because they play ads for it all the time. <sighs> my first love of traveling was from going on church mission trips, actually. Anyways, what the fuck oh, are we uh, talking apparently about? Apparently, the four pillars of... Uh, oh, Okay. So Tina's pointing out Beth Midler, Kathy and Jimmy, Sarah, Jessica Parker, bow the fuck down. And yes, absolutely Hocus Pocus. In Respect. fact, I did a Hocus Pocus trivia this past weekend. That was free. Oh, topical. It was great. All right. So, all right. Hold on. Here's before we, we get back to wrestling. We watched Hocus Pocus in here like not too long ago. Before we get back to wrestling, and we will. <laughs> no, we won't. If, if th- this, is, this is for everyone in this chat room. If you are tired of seeing everything terrible on the internet Mm -hmm. right now Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. do yourself a favor there is a there is a company that runs out of new york that normally does trivia nights in bars around the new york city area because of coronavirus and genuinely everything being terrible they're they've done a shit ton of free trivia nights on the internet for everyone involved i'm talking Harry Potter. I'm talking Home Alone. I'm talking Hocus Pocus. I'm talking general trivia, Star Wars trivia, Seinfeld trivia, any kind of trivia you can possibly want, except for fucking WWE trivia. But I'm I'm asking for the every every time I do one. Lots of Disney trivia. If you're mm-hmm. a Disney head, you'll mm-hmm. fucking love it. Mm-hmm. Go to them trivia AD. Fill your weekend gaining knowledge because they ask hard shit. They are good trivia, trivia uh, masterminds. I love the point where the like whatever you just did, uh, mm-hmm. turned into a John Oliver bit, and and I thought just like rat erotica was gonna come up on the screen next. Sword, are you up you on think? this? Am I? Are you the one that bought the painting? God, I wish. <laughs> I don't have that kind of cash lying around. I don't know. Like, I feel like that's a test. If I had the Rat Erotica painting, which was from, like, like the middle of Pennsylvania at an auction, like Harrisburg or something, that mm-hmm. I would completely just, like, that's the thing I put in my office, and if that makes you queasy, I know that we probably can't work together. Yeah. <laughs> I, it, so, have you seen the most recent episode of John Oliver? Yes, that's why I bring it up because it's yeah, fresh yeah. on my brain because it's set Rat, the music. Rat Erotica and Jungkook from BTS. Yep, that's it. Apparently, he got the wrong guy. Nope, Jungkook. Okay. Oh, he he got the wrong guy. He like he called out the wrong guy as oh, Jungkook. Oh, okay. Um, okay. Well, so I mean, listen, man, you can't. I mean, you know, sometimes it, it was some, the, he was distracted by abs. We I all, mean, we all, who amongst us? Uh, yeah, between that and, and we all mess up our K-pop every once in a while. So, yeah, absolutely. I, mean, I, 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 you know, I'm still working on absolutely. It. Like BTS has seven people in it. I'm still working. It's work- hard to keep them track. I'm still working on my K-pop crazy wall, guys. It's right I was going to say, Sork, you haven't even nailed down which Backstreet Boy is which. Hey, you know how you haven't seen the cou- couch in like three months? That's because it's my K-pop crazy wall right over there. <laughs> you don't see it yet. I'm waiting for it to finish, and I'm allowed <laughs> to open my doors, okay? <laughs> how many how many um, yarns of string did you go through, Sork, for your K-pop crazy wall? At least yo, three, right? Yo, Joanne Fabric is done. <laughs> (laughs) 
wrestling. <laughs> so, anyway, I was trying to will Sasha Banks into challenging Io Shirai. Mm-hmm. Oh, God. <laughs> but, but I, yeah, right. Oh, God. Oh, no. I'm not ready uh, for that. Oh, my God. But I will settle for Sasha and Asuka. That's also settle. quite good. It's that like, is also quite good. It's like the best kind of repeat. Yeah. Even though I don't know if they've had many. You're not wrong. One on one matches together. I think they missed each other now. I think about it. Right? Oh, they definitely missed each other in NXT. Mm-hmm. I'm trying to think if they've had anything since then, but I so they might have been just, always been on separate brands. It just stuff matters less when you come up to the main roster. It's so weird. It's so weird. Blasphemy. It's yeah. almost like they the the people behind it care less or something. Uh I had a good discussion about fifty fifty booking today actually. So uh, Oh god with, I hate with, it. But with a booker. Uh <laughs> I still hate it. I, I get it. Well I I, think I get it. I hate it, but yeah, I get it. I, it's 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 I think I think it's also seeing it week to week versus seeing it month to month is a different story, probably. Um, you know, it depends depends on what you do. Yeah, depends on what's too. going on, you know. And uh, shout out to Veronica. It also, it also depends on who gets the first half of that fifty. That's true. Uh, shout outs to Veronica for dropping a Ninja Turtle gif in my in my uh, comments somewhere along the line there. Yeah, uh, as, she, as she does. As so she does, she wants to do. What is the show again? Wrestling. Okay. All right. Um. By uh. By the way, Sorg, I figured out an equation tonight. Hmm. One AJ Styles equals one Dolph Ziggler and one Bobby Roode. Go on. I got breaking that news. The, that was. I got breaking was news. Thing. I got a Twitter notific or a Facebook oh, notification boy. that my small business, which is a wrestling promotion that I that I help with, may qualify for relief programs. I oh boy! It. Oh, I doubt it. I don't think that's gonna work. Uh, sorry. Yeah, I. I'm easily distracted right now. Okay. Sorg, I don't know if you can rely on that necessarily. What? I just uh, click for more information. Uh, okay. <laughs> Sorg, if it's a Nigerian prince, click away. No, his name's Mark. Sorg, they're all named Sorg. That's a trap. That's a honeypot. Because you're the fucking Mark, Sorg. That's what'll happen. I'm the... <laughs> Get it? I also, had a Get good... it? I, I also got a confirmation about how Mark really means today. That was kind of fun conversation, oh, too. Boy. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that it's. I, I'm getting educated all over the place. Um, <laughs> we all are. <laughs> no, uh, hey. <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, anyways, what the fuck are we Rustling. We kind of have a half thought about something that happened on Raw, and then we just go. Ah. I well, because I don't want to talk about Dolph Ziggler versus Drew McIntyre. I missed that. I I was like, I don't. It was this like is what happens after. when Kevin Owens refuses to work Raw. So, and also, can I say this? I I unequivocally, I, you know, we had I think a very good Raw. Even like I, I like the MVP promo stuff tonight too. I are you you're just not on I, board with MVP no, right I, now, right? No, I. No, MVP is doing good work. Oh, I may yeah. not like him. I may not like what, he, what he's doing. Damn good work. Uh, it's not It's not my ball of wax. It's not my cup of tea. Mm-hmm. I'd prefer him to be managing rather than what looks like angling for a U.S. title himself. Uh, I think it's. I think, I think he does that and then diverts it to somebody he's working with. Well, I mean, if it goes to Lashley, I'm like, oh, that's a, that's a step down. For mm-hmm. Lashley, and I also don't want to see Lashley. Like, I don't like Lashley. That's what it is. Mm-hmm. Lashley just irritates me. I like think. if MVP was managing Ricochet and Sultan Benjamin Did... instead, I'd be in. Here's a question. On the I got a question. Yeah, that's happening. What in in the first era of Bobby Lashley? Mm-hmm. I recall us being all on board with him. Um, I do too, until a certain WrestleMania when someone picked him as his representative. Was that why? Guess who the fuck, guess who the fuck that was? I, we're not, no, 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 no. We're not getting into that. We'll let you no, guys. We're not. But guess who the fuck that was? <laughs> and guess why the fuck it was done? Mm. Because they have similar points of view. Mm-hmm. So fuck Bobby Lashley. Oh, I did not realize that, this. Battle of Billionaires, Sorg. Yes. Huh. It was Bobby Lashley versus you making America great again. 
Get it? Umaga. Oh, R.I.P. Umaga. R.I.P. Yeah, we we yeah. miss you. We miss you. Sorry, I didn't. Ugh. I didn't mean that, but you know, it it just it sticks in your craw a little bit. Tiny bit. Tiny it's, bit. It's like when you see Jack Swagger with the Real Americans, and you're like, oh, this ain't. This is this is playing yourself up to ten, isn't it? <sighs> yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. There's, there's a reason Cesaro was the one that left that group. <laughs> yeah um i um what are we what are we doing wrestling Should i rap now have we done enough damage uh, for one night uh, uh, so sword sword i raw had a lot of ladies tonight okay a lot of women segments and i approved of it mm-hmm. and sorg we might be getting a riot squad reunion yeah, so um, you got to fill me in on two things. That's one of them, and then I want to get to the other thing after that because um, I'm watching on the Hulu Live, and their ads weren't lining up because I don't think I see the same ads. I think I see Hulu-fed ads. Oh, yeah, ad you breaks. definitely see Hulu-fed ads. And I kept cutting off the promos when they come back. So <laughs> explain to me how Liv and Ru- Ruby got in the room together. Um. So, so the weird, uh, the performance era tapings have, they baffle me sometimes Mm -hmm. because sometimes they're in a completely separate room with multiple rings. And I'm like, how big is this place? Yeah. Yeah. Cause I I don't know where they actually like run the show from. Mm -hmm. I thought it was that area that we always see in like any kind of training montage or in the 24s or anything like that. I did too. I did too, actually. Now, the only thing I'm wondering is because this isn't live, is if all that stuff was done before, like, the walls are put up and everything, before they Mm -hmm. set up for the actual show. Mm -hmm. So, but um, basically, Ruby was, you know, uh, I mean, Liv was walking away um, sad about her match that she lost, and Ruby kind of went up to her dressed as Beetlejuice, which was great. Um, she was dressed as Beetlejuice, basically. Okay. I think, okay. I think it was her outfit from Evolution or like around Halloween time, but um, so she just went up to Liv and was like, "Hey, hey, are you?" Okay? And Liv was like, "No, no, just don't talk to me. I know stuff hasn't gone my way. I haven't gotten there yet. But I don't need you making it worse." And just walked off. And Ruby looked very sad. Speaking of shout outs, why yeah. don't Ryder? Based on that earlier conversation. <laughs> Yes. Shout out to Winona Ryder. Yes. Respect. Yes. Respect the Winona Ryder. Um, thank you. Thank you for clarifying that. Um, other thing. But we might get we might get the Riot Squad back. Mm-hmm. I'm okay with that. So uh, I was uh, sitting here watching Raw and, and just watching the bit, last bit of it before he took off with uh, Nasty Nick Farah. And uh, we're watching the... Um, they have Dominic and they're ready to try to do the eye gouge thing. And uh-huh. then we see... Um, Seth Rollins start reacting to something like, uh, and then we skip the head buffered ahead to modern family because apparently that's what was happening with my feed. Mm-hmm. What happens next, Mike? Cause I literally don't know how raw ended. Um, they, they just, Umberto and, um, and Alistair came back into it. Oh, okay. It interrupted and, yeah. and broke it up yeah, and then it, we're done. Yeah, it, okay. it ends up being like a four on three, so it'll probably be like a it's, six man tag with, it, it's just with one of Dominic those... at, at Extreme Rules or yeah. Extreme Rules or however you read that sign. And then Dominic's going to turn and join Seth Rollins. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh That's absolutely. What That's what happens. Because you know why? Do you know why Dominic's going to to turn on his to turn on Ray and join Seth Rollins because he was influenced by Ontario Antonio Cueto. No, Sorg. Three reasons. He lies. He cheats. He steals. Mm, Wouldn't it be great if that's exactly how that came out? Yes. Yes. I want that so badly. Ah. I want him to call himself Dominic Guerrero. I want it more than anything I've ever wanted in my life. Mm-hmm. That's not true. That's not even in true in wrestling. That wasn't even true for this Raw, but I really <laughs> want it. No, I really, no. I want, I want it 
very badly, and I want Dominic to hit his own father with a frog splash. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then, Sorg, Sorg, do you know what can happen then? Do you know what can happen then, Sorg? Hold on, hold on. Let me let me set the stage for you, Sorg. Um, Sorg, do you know what is after Extreme Rules? Okay, I thought I had this right. Okay, Summer you know I had. Do you know what's right? after Extreme Rules? SummerSlam. Yeah, but you know what else? The fifteenth anniversary of Ray and Edding fighting for the custody of Dominic. Oh my! And Dominic can come out on Raw and say, 15 years ago, Ray, you had a match at SummerSlam with Eduardo Guerrero. And I'm going to tell you this. You may have won that night, but the wrong man won because I am the son of Eddie Guerrero. Viva la raza! And he just calls himself Dominic Guerrero. That's it. That's 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 the story. That's the story you do. And and it has to be Seth Rollins who told Dominic the truth because he is the Messiah. Wow. I like that. I like that a lot. I I dig that. I dig the hell out of that. That's fantastic. Oh jeez. Um Mike, we've been at this for a bit. Probably enough. Probably too much, some would say. Um <laughs> Hey, sword, we have to talk about a lot. Yeah, yeah, we did. We got a lot more to talk about tomorrow. We were going to dig deep into some real issues around the rest oh, of the yeah, world. Oh, yeah, tomorrow course. is going to be just sad and angry. So mm -hmm. we get all of our Devin Sawas tonight, you know? Yeah. Uh, I, still, I still I want that Dominic Guerrero thing to happen. Oh, so badly. So badly. Like, please, like, WWE, you steal a lot of my ideas. This one is free. Just take it. Just do it. And plus, then you have a reason for Ray to fight Dominic and for Dominic to retire his father. Mm -hmm. like, oh, it's oh that'd be, that would be perfect. Yes, that's what I'm oh. saying. This is what I'm saying. It'd be great. Wow. Dominic Guerrero, please, please make it happen. Because we could have gotten the son of Eddie Guerrero with Aiden English. We didn't do that. Let's do this instead. Wait, what? Aiden English is, um, I think, married to Shaw Guerrero. Oh, okay. I got you. I got you. Okay. I, I, at the very least, I think they're still dating. So, <laughs> Mad Mike, we again, we will have the Honey Badger on the show Tuesday. We also have booked, um, I need to finish the booking, but Marcus Mann is going to join us from Rise Wrestling. We are going to have an episode of Indie Mayhem show um, intended uh, in the works right now. That is, uh, I, I, with everything going on and, and discussions happening, uh, uh, Rise Wrestling has been, um, I think, the preeminent in the area of, of having a safe locker room, or I'm, so, I'm sorry, let me restate that, a welcoming locker room for all. And uh, so I wanted to have Marcus on uh, to, in light of everything going on right now, kind of talk about that, talk about the efforts they make to do that, um, to, to make that environment, and why is it important to them and we're hoping to get a couple people on from that locker room to kind of talk about that as well. Um, hopefully, hopefully this set an example for what a lot of people are going to uh, really focus on in light of everything going on as we as wrestling starts to spin back up, reboot, whatever the case may be. Also, I invite everybody over on IndieWrestling.us to uh, also check out. We did an impromptu stream with Reveron Hunt and Chris Taylor. Of course, there have been um, a lot of uh, unfortunate comments with some promoters here in the Pittsburgh area in West Virginia, um, and uh, they wanted to have sort of a forum to talk about it and express and, and, and talk about what's going on and why it's important and, and, and everything. So that happened Friday on IndieWrestling.us's uh, social media, uh, mostly the Facebook page. Uh, I invite you to go check that out, and uh, there we are talking about it, and the door is open for them to do more of those as needed, um, as they feel they need to, as, as things are ever changing. Um, so please, I, I encourage you to check those out. Um, we try to have uh, a lot of fun on the Mayhem show, and maybe we're not all serious all the time, especially tonight. God bless definitely tonight. Uh, but, uh, but we definitely have some spaces where we want to have those serious conversations uh, for you guys that are ready for them. Um, so please go check all of that out over there in, in the wrestling.us social media. And uh, we're also sharing um, 
bits and pieces what other people are sharing about things as well. And of course, a lot of conversations are happening at the Wrestling Mayhem Show Facebook group. Uh, if you want to catch up with that, that's where I'm learning and trying to keep up with a lot that's going on here. Um, so uh, it's a wild time. Uh, everybody, uh, uh, be safe out there. Um, you know, and uh, and I hope I hope I hope if you are embroiled in what's going on right now with the uh, call out movement, um, you know, please talk with somebody, even if you're not doing a public thing. Uh, and uh, you know, whatever whatever can help and heal in this time for everybody. We're Matt, we're here for you. We love and support you. Yes. Um. You know, really kind of have a lot of thoughts and prayers for um a lot of the mayhem family that uh, have uh, said a lot of things over the last uh, uh, week. So definitely want to um, extend our thoughts to them uh, as, as everybody's kind of handling what's going on and obviously have been handled for a long time what uh, they may be uh, just now and, coming to light. And, and spoiler alert, um, if you watch our show tomorrow night and you don't like what I have to say, you don't ever have to listen to the show again. Always an option. <laughs> because, because personally... I don't want you listening to me. <laughs> that is the official Mad Mike stance, but uh, yes, uh, uh, I'm taking the Big E stance. I don't need your follows. <laughs> <laughs> Mayhem show. We don't need Joe follows. We're here. We're gonna. I'm, <laughs> we're gonna at least talk to each other, anyways, and hopefully some of you guys yes. will be along for the ride. So, um, and do your homework, Jacob Evans. Your homework oh, this week. I gotta do that. Yeah, yeah. I wait till I, I, I wait till the day of, so I, I remember it's it. A for short the show. Match. It's a short match. It's a short. It's, yes. it's Mickey versus Beth, right? I believe so. From uh, okay. a particular Raw of some sort. Raw in February of twenty mm-hmm. six, something like that. Probably twenty odd six, twenty odd eight, something like that. Anywho, thank you, everybody. Yeah. We'll see you guys next time. Mayhem. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.